Returning to that close race for Colorado's 3rd Congressional District, votes counted today put Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert in the lead by about 1,100 votes. 9 News reporter Mark Salinger is on the Western Slope talking with voters about a race that now has America's attention. The people of Colorado's 3rd Congressional District are still waiting to find out who will represent them in Congress. It's a district that heavily favors Republicans, with few people predicting the race would be this close. Here in Glenwood Springs, it's nearly impossible to find any campaign yard signs that support Lauren Boebert. The majority of the support here is behind the Democrat, Adam Frisch, from Aspen. Many people we spoke to say they voted for him because of how much they dislike Boebert. I voted for Adam Frisch. Um, more of a vote uh, against Boebert than for Frisch, really. Um, I don't know, you know too much about Frisch's policies, but I know that uh, Boebert kind of spooks me as far as her antics and the, you know, sensationalism that she promotes in Congress. Just down I-70 in Boebert's hometown of Rifle, support is split. Some say they support her responsiveness to the needs of Western Colorado. Others told us they voted for a Democrat for the first time in their lives. Even the head of the Garfield County Republican Party doesn't agree with everything she does, especially the way she acts in Congress. He still supports her. Personally, I don't like that part of her. Um, I know there's a lot of Republicans that really do. They like that she mixes it up. Um, I'm more old school, see the gray hair. Whoever ends up winning this election will represent a massive part of Colorado. The 3rd Congressional District stretches all the way here on the western slope, all the way down to southern Colorado and Pueblo. In Glenwood Springs, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. We are likely to be watching this race for days as voters now get a chance to fix any signature issues that prevented their vote from being counted. Clerks will reach out if that happened. Uh, military and overseas votes can still come in until November 16th. We will continue to update 9news.com with results in the 3rd Congressional District and all of the other uncalled races across the state.